countdown. Place five to six students in a circle and give them a volleyball. If you have a lot of students, you can make bigger circles, but try not to have more than 10 students per circle. There will be poly spots placed around in a circle, so the students have to stand on a poly spot. There will be one poly spot in the middle. One person will start in the middle and start the countdown. Students should be numbered 1 through 5 or 1 through 6, depending on how many students you have in a circle. The person in the middle will be number 1 and start the game. They will start the game by tossing it in the air. After they toss it in the air, they should step out and the number 6 person will step in the circle and bump or set the ball up high. The ball is allowed to hit the ground once. The game will keep going until the ball hits the ground twice. When the ball hits the ground twice, then that round is over and the countdown will start over. If a countdown is completed, then that circle gets a point. Students should keep going even when a countdown is completed. They will, will receive more points for the more countdowns they complete. Students should call mine when they are going to hit the ball so there is no confusion. You can modify by alternating the bumping and setting. If one student bumps the ball, the next has to set the ball. You can also modify by having a no bounce countdown. All the rules are the same except the ball cannot bounce. You can also modify by having students call out a name of the next person to hit the ball. Make sure students are calling out everyone's names and not just their friends' names. Enjoy!